Hi everyone, I am Dr. Zafar Meer. Today in this video, I am going to tell you about regression analysis. This video has two parts. In the first part, I will introduce different features of regression. In the second part, I will demonstrate simple linear regression in SPSS with an example. Before watching the full video, subscribe the channel and press bell icon for instant notifications. Okay, let's start with the uh, introduction of the regression and let's start with the purpose. The purpose of regression is to predict a dependent variable on the basis of one or more independent variable. Actually, regression analysis tells us the variability in the dependent variable explained by independent variables in percentage. And we develop a significant regression model in the form of linear equation. In statistics, uh, there are many names used for independent and dependent variables. For example, regressor, uh, predictor, explanatory, controlled, or input for independent variables. And for dependent variables, there are many names. Uh, for example, regression, observed, target variable, response variable or outcome variable. Now I will tell you about, uh, you know, the selection of appropriate statist, uh, regression analysis. Uh, when we have some number of independent variables and dependent variables with uh, their level of measurement. For example, if we have uh, one independent variable and one dependent variable, and both variables are continuous and measured in interval or at ratio level, then we can apply simple linear regression. Uh, if we have more than one continuous variable, then we apply multiple regression. And if the dependent variable is in the form of dichotomous, then we can apply binary logistic regression. And if the dependent variable measures at ordinal level, then we can apply ordinal logistic regression. Okay, next uh, we have uh, a basically uh, today's focus is uh, simple linear regression. And for that, the equation is y is equal to a plus bx plus e. e is for random error term. What is y? y is our dependent variable what is a a is basically a y intercept and b is the slope of line generated from this equation and x is our independent variable okay let me explain you uh, what is intercept a a is the intercept means the value on y axis where this line meets for example, in this diagram, you can see this line meets at y-axis at 1. It means a is equal to 1. y-intercept is 1. Okay. Secondly, I want to explain, uh, you know, the slope of the line. If the value of b is positive, means in the equation we have b with x. Uh, if this coefficient is positive, it means that the line generated from this equation is in this direction, the upward direction. And in, in this case, the relationship between these two variables is also positive. And if b value, if the value of b is negative, then the line will be in downward direction. Okay. Uh, next, there are, uh, you know, E is the random error or the residual. Uh, Let's see what it is. Uh, basically, uh, random error term or uh, the random error is the distance between the observed value and the expected or predicted value on this line. This distance is basically called res residual or the error value. And uh, the sum of all these res uh, residuals should be zero. Okay. Next, we have uh, some assumptions related to linear regression. For example, linearity. Uh, the relationship between x and y should be linear. This is very important 
and uh, before applying you know the simple linear regression one should uh, you know uh, check the relationship between x and y and it should be linear otherwise we cannot apply you know simple linear regression okay uh, the next one is homocytosity city and this uh, you know um, is same uh, like homogeneity in ANOVA uh, means equal variances uh, of residuals. Uh, it also means that having the same scatter across the regression lines means if you draw a line the scatter plot of the line regression line the points should be very close to the line and uh, there should be a symmetry uh, of points across the line. Uh, so, uh, we will see it as well. Independence next. Observations are independent of each other and then normality uh, for any fixed value of x, y should be normally distributed. Okay, let's take an example on SPSS. Uh, we have two variables. Uh, for example, if uh, you are going to check the uh, research objectives and uh, our research questions for this example. Uh, research question can be written as to investigate the effect of students st study hours at home and achievement scores in exams. We have two variables. One is the study hours that is independent variable and the other va variable is achievement scores or marks of students in exam. So we have one independent variable and one dependent variable and both are continuous variables uh, in this case. And research question for this objective will be how much students study hours at home vary eight or explain the achievement scores in exams. Okay, uh, here we have the data. This is one variable study hours and it measures in interval or ratio scale. And the second one is scores in exam and it also measured in scales. Okay, we have a data. So, first of all, we have to check whether the, uh, there is, uh, there exists a linear relationship between these two variables. Go to the graph and then chart builder. Click OK. And then select from here scattered plot. And then simple scattered plot click, uh, when you click, uh, double click on it, it will already placed over here. Okay. Now you have to place study hours in x axis and scores in y-axis and then click OK. So we have a chart which shows that there is a you know um, relationship between x and y is in this pattern. If you draw okay double click on it and draw a line uh, this one okay add fit line at the total click on it and we have a line. So, what it shows? It shows that the relationship between x and y is linear and you know these dots are uh, across the line it's, it looks like a symmetry in it. Okay. Now, uh, the first assumption is satisfied. Now, next, uh, next let's go to analyze then regression then click on linear and now you have to you know select independent variable study hours over here independent box and scores independent variable list okay then click on statistics uh, model fit descriptives and confidence interval estimates uh, others are you know for uh, checking uh, the multi uh, multiple regression we can use over there uh, then Durban was a uh, Watson test and continue and then click on plots yes now you have to select uh, Z predictor P R E D in X axis and Z residual in Y axis and then click on histogram and normality plots uh, probability plots okay click on continue okay so uh, we have uh, you know these tables uh, the first table is about uh, descriptive statistics uh, scores in percentages the mean score is 39.66 and study hours is the mean score is 3.7 uh, 
Uh, next one is the table of correlation which shows the relationship between these two variables and that is 0 0.965 positive and a strong correlation between these two variables and uh, this relationship is significant as the p-value is 0 0.000 which is less than 0 0.05 so this relationship also a significant relationship between the variables okay the next table is uh, I just want to uh, firstly look at the ANOVA table which is uh, which shows that p-value 0 0.000 is less than 0 0.05 so it shows that the regression model is significant in this case means uh, the dependent variable the variability independent variable uh, explained by independent variable is good uh, if in some cases if this is not significant it means that the regression model or the regression equation uh, you know is insignificant and independent variable badly explain the dependent variable okay uh, in this case it's fine because uh, this regression model is significant as p value is less than 0 0.005 uh, next we have a model summary here is again r is showing the relationship between these two uh, which can also be shown over here in pairs and correlation table and then next is r square r square uh, and adjusted r square this r square is basically a value for our sample and adjusted r square is the value for the population the whole population if we multiply it by 100 it will be 93 percent so what does it mean it means that dependent variable that is achievement scores are marks of students uh, explained by study hours is 93 percent uh, okay uh, Durban Watson test shows that uh, there is no auto correlation between the variables usually we uh, use this test for time series data um, so it's fine over here uh, usually its value lies between 0 to 4 and uh, 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 when its value uh, is around 2 it means there is no autocorrelation and values are independent observations are independent actually okay next we have uh, you know coefficient table uh, the constant is 10.225 and it is significant and the slope uh, 7.816 is also significant actually this t test uh, you know compares this slope 7.816 with uh, slope is equal to 0 and uh, this is significant so beta is again the correlation between these two variables uh, and if you you know make a, uh, an equation for this model it might be like this marks in exam are uh, scores in exam is equal to uh, the coefficient a plus the slope and the dependent variable independent variable study hours so positive p is showing that there is strong positive relationship and its line will be in upward direction okay uh, the next one is a residual table and it shows that the sum of all residuals are 0, 0, 0. so it's fine and uh, it, it looks like that um, histogram is showing that uh, the data is normally distributed okay next uh, uh, it's pp plot yes pp plot showing that all these points are you know along the line very close to line so it's fine again and this plot uh, that is uh, against regression standardized regu residuals and regression standardized predicted values it is uh, you know randomly distributed and there is no uh, you know pattern exists in this graph we can draw a line in it click double click on it and click on this line so we can see that there is uh, you know more symmetry in the uh, in these points uh, across this line 
that looks fine. 